Hey guys, how's it going? It's Rules for Rebels here, and I got an exciting video for you guys today. So this is something I've been waiting for for a long, long time. Uh, Google has actually come out with a new app that's going to rival uh, FaceTime, which uh, those of you guys out there who are Android users like me know we haven't had anything that can even come close to competing with FaceTime. I mean, I know you got Skype, but I always found Skype to be kind of confusing. The picture quality sucks. It's always cutting out. Uh, then we had Google Hangouts, which you know, it wasn't great, it wasn't terrible, but it was more of a multi-platform type thing. It worked with a lot of Google products. It wasn't really streamlined and meant to uh, be like a FaceTime type service. So this new product that Google has is called Google Duo. Uh, I don't know exactly when it came out, but it's very new. It only has like 100 reviews on the App Store, so that should, it should kind of tell you how new it is. Um, in terms of the quality of the image and the voice, I would put it right up there with FaceTime. I mean, those of you guys who have Apple phones, you know how good of FaceTime, uh, how good of quality FaceTime is. Those of you guys who know people with Apple phones have seen it. And as an Android user, I've always been like, man, when is Android gonna come out with something like that? And I kinda hate Apple products. I mean, I have an iMac in my house, but I don't really like Apple. And I've almost considered getting an iPhone for the simple reason of FaceTime. I think FaceTime's really cool. Um, but now, you know, us Android users uh, have something that I would put right up there with uh, FaceTime, and it's this new app called Duo. Uh, very kind of clean, streamlined uh, app and design. Um, it acts, it runs over your phone line as opposed to email like Hangouts did. Um, there's kind of a cool feature called Knock Knock, and basically if I'm calling you uh, over Google Duo, uh, I'm gonna pop up on your screen and you're gonna see, you know, if I, whatever my camera is facing at, you're actually gonna see that on your end. So it's almost like somebody's knocking at your door and you're taking a peek out seeing who it is. Now, uh, only people who are in your phone book can knock, knock, you know, are people who you are able to, uh, only people who are in your phone book are people who are you're gonna be able to see on knock knock. So you don't have to worry about like some stranger knock knocking you and they're naked Santa behind their phone or something crazy like that. Also, if you don't like the knock knock feature, you can turn it off. Um, Apple or iPhone users can also use this, uh, this app as well. So if Apple users, want to communicate with their friends who have Android and do a, uh, a video call, you can do that as well. So people with iPhones can still use this. The one difference between iPhone and Android is going to be uh, Apple users will not have the knock knock feature unless they're already in the Google Duo app. So if you just pick up your phone because you hear it buzzing, all you're going to see is a call notification. You're not actually going to see the person on the other end unless you actually open up the app and are already in the app. Uh, whereas Android users, you know, if somebody calls me right now and I pick up my phone, I'm gonna see what's going on on their camera and I can choose whether to answer it or not answer it. You can block specific people from calling you. Uh, I'm trying to think what else there is to say about it. I mean, overall, it's a really simple, I always thought Skype was kind of confusing. I thought Hangouts was kind of confusing. Not really great to use for video calls, but this, I mean, super streamlined layout. Uh, I mean, there's literally like two or three buttons. There's uh, a button to access your phone book, there's a setting button, and there's one big button to make a video call. So I mean, very, very straightforward, very, very simple to use. Um, and I mean, you could use this if you do consulting or something like that, you can use it that way. If you just wanna communicate with your friends for fun, you can do that. Uh, but what's really cool is now Android users have something similar to FaceTime, and also Android to Apple users, because this is available on iPhones as well, uh, people with iPhones can download this and then they can FaceTime, you know, quote unquote FaceTime uh, or video chat, I guess we could say, with their friends who have Android phones. So I just recently learned about this new uh, Google app today. Again, it's called Google Duo. I would highly recommend downloading it. I think it's an awesome app. Um, just downloaded it today. I called my mom and called my sister to uh, do a little video chat with my little baby nephew. Um, and so far, I'm super impressed with the quality. The first call I made, the voice quality was really, it was good, but it was really, really quiet. And I was like, oh man, I was so excited about this and it let me down. But you know, I, I figured there was a glitch, so I hung up, I called the person right back. Crystal clear picture, um, voice quality was loud and awesome. Oh, and also you can toggle back and forth between front facing camera uh, or your rear, rear camera if you actually wanna show some, something to somebody or if you want better quality since front facing cameras are typically low quality. Uh, but again, this app is called Google Duo. It's really awesome. I highly recommend checking it out. Um, and that's about it, guys. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you are not subscribed, just below there to the bottom left, click that subscribe button. You'll be kept abreast of all my upcoming videos. Uh, if you guys have any questions or comments about this app, 
leave them in the comments section below. And if you guys try out this app, again, drop a comment below. Let me know what you guys think about it. So thanks for watching. Stay tuned, and we will talk to you guys later.